Assalamu alaikum guys, in this video we'll talk about database transactions in Laravel. For example, here I have this case. I will create a new order, right, for some products here. And in our root, I firstly create the order, then I loop around the orders in the request that I send here. And I first found the order for some reasons. Then I will create the minute to minute relationship here. I will attach this product to this order number. For example, if I back here and I will send a request, it's success back to our order product table. As you can see here, same product or same order number, different product. And I ask it to from this product ID one and five quantities for product ID number two. If I back to my request here, as we can see, but in our database, the order ID or the product ID number two, we have only three quantities. So at most or maximum number of orders that can be done for this product is only three. But here in my request, I send five. So we need to check it first. Back to our loop here. And I will say if product quantity less than the requested or asked product or the product here quantity then a port here i throw a message or error to give any information to users that we can we have only for example three three quantities here back and check again here i will add the error code as a first parameter 400 for example and as we can see, we have only three for this product. I will take it again here. Back and check it again. As we can see here, we have only three quantity for product shoes. This one here. I will truncate this table again. And also I will truncate the orders table. Back and check recent. We will notice the, the order has been created and also the first product which is allowed to be created has been created also. So how can we avoid this logical error using database transactions in Laravel? First of all, before any query here, I will say DB facade begin transaction. And for any error, this error, when will it happen? I will say DB here rollback roll back all records for this transaction. Otherwise, after all of this for each done, I will say here DB also commit to execute the queries and save everything in the database. So I will back and truncate my data again. Now all is empty and according to the transaction, it must not create anything. Back and check, let's recent our request. We have only three back to our database, no order created. And also order product is clean. There is another way instead of using DB begin transaction, we can say here transaction directly and it takes a closure function. And let's take it completely here. And what's a code? Remove the commit and also remove the rollback. And I will say use request inside the closure now. Let's back and do the same thing. And it leads to the same result without creating anything. For this method, by the way, second the parameter here for attempts, how many time of attempts or tries to be done. I will say, for example, three here. Back and check again, check, and also the same result. So this is a case of how to use database transactions in action. If you found it useful, support to me by clicking on like, share, and subscribe. See you next video.